I am so excited about this video. I've never done a thrifting video before and I've never actually gone to the thrift store and like cut stuff up and changed it the way that I did in this video. Before this video, I would never look in the women's section or the sleepwear section or anything. I would just get men's oversized t-shirts and sweatshirts, which don't get me wrong, those are great, but I found myself always wearing oversized t-shirts and sweatshirts. And then I was like, you know what? I should probably dress cuter. And I didn't want to spend a bunch of money. So I went to two different thrift stores and I spent $60 total. First thrift store averages $3 per item. Like, And I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can turn one shirt into two, so keep watching. I'm gonna start with this shirt. Oh my God, I love it, okay? It literally looks like you could find this at Urban Outfitters, am I right? Also, this shirt at the thrift store, you know, it was probably worn by a 72-year-old woman, but that's in now, if it's cropped, so. I cropped it myself, all I did was just cut it. I mean, it's plain and simple. Make sure that you put it on first before you cut it so you know exactly where you wanna go, and you guys can take these little things and clip it where you want to crop the t-shirt so you don't lose track <clears throat> when you take it off and cut it. I've noticed that the best items that work for cropping are not too oversized. If it's too oversized, it's gonna flare out and look kind of weird. Another thing that I discovered today, which I've never seen anyone do this, but I don't really watch their flip videos, is I took the bottom half of the shirt, turned it into a crop top. All you have to do is cut along the seam and then tie it in a bow, and you can wear it either forward or backwards, and it fits you perfect because you tie it to your body. And also, you wanna make sure that you flip it upside down when you put it on so that the seam and the nice stitching which was really the bottom of the shirt is at the top and then it looks really professional and nice i got like two shirts just for one i also found this black shirt in the women's section and i also cropped this one as well so it just looks way more trendy and it's a little bit tighter but with this one i did a weird crop basically i cut it where i liked it but then I went above and I cut out a triangle and then the little piece that was left at the bottom of the triangle, cut that in half and then tied it. That is hard to explain but hopefully the visuals will show you what I'm talking about. And then now it has this cute tie and a little like hole here. So you can do that for shirts that are a little more oversized and it will bring the waist in and it won't look too flared out. I also found this mock neck, a really cute sweater, amazing quality. This would probably be $50 at Urban Outfitters but I just took it upon myself to crop it, simple as that. I also took the bottom half of this one and made it into a crop top as well. And it looks so cute for summer. I know we're going into fall, but if you're in California, you know, right, there you go. And I like wearing crop tops under those big fuzzy jackets in the fall anyway. And then if I want, I can flip it around and wear this little V thing upward which just happened to come with the shirt or i can wear it at the bottom i prefer it at the top but yeah that's amazing am i right like are you kidding i also got this really cute vintage looking t-shirt it's just white and oversized got this from the men's section it says chevrolet on it and then on the back it has a really cool vintage car like you guys know this is really cool looking you can already tell so i can just wear it as a plain t-shirt but if i want to make a trendier outfit and i don't want to crop this because i really don't think this t-shirt would do well cropped because it's too oversized this is the best way to temporarily crop an oversized t-shirt so you basically take Take it and you pull forward a bunch of the fabric in the beginning or at the bottom of the shirt beginning. and then you just twist it twist it together until you can tie it up with a hair tie and it's that easy I use a clear hair tie so you don't really see it you have a temporarily cropped t-shirt and it's non-committal just made me think of that song that's my favorite thing to do with oversized t-shirts you can also do that with this kind of shirt so here I found another floral pattern shirt which literally looks like a pattern sold from Brandy Melville but I'm guaranteeing you this was worn by a 50 year old woman feels better than Brandy Melville honestly so I just took this shirt I uh, cuffed the sleeves and there's two ways that you can crop a shirt like this without actually cropping it because this one is a little bit more boxy I wasn't sure how I would like it if it was cropped but it would flare out too much so I took this again you just can either twist it up and tie it or what you can do is you can twist it and then tuck it in under your bra I know you're gonna have to wear a bra to do that so that's another my dogs are tweaking sorry so yeah <laughs> shut then I found this shirt that literally looks like a tablecloth but I thought it could be cute with leggings cropped and I cropped it 
Again, just cut it right along there. You already know. And I had some extra at the bottom, but obviously this is not thick enough for a tube top. So what I did was I just took it, put it around my head, and then tied it into a knot at the top, and then cut off the excess. Oh, looks like I did cut a hair. You probably shouldn't do it while it's on your head, I'm just lazy. And then you have yourself a cool vintage looking headband, and you can do like headband looks. I think headbands are coming back, so. Love it. I also found this really cute turtleneck sweater and it's this super nice ribbed quality and it gets tighter at the end so all I did was just tucked it into some plaid skirts and then you instantly become Rachel from Friends. You know, like this is, that's her outfit. I'm not even kidding, it looks so cute. Since this one is tighter at the bottom, I felt like it was fine if I didn't crop it. I think it's good just to leave some things for tucking in. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this. And it has a very interesting like pattern on the boobs. It kind of like cops it, which is weird, but cool. It's very unique, so I love it. So this is a piece I'm really excited about. So this is just like from the men's section. It's actually Marble Row. I don't know how to pronounce it right, but that like cigarette brand, I didn't even know that they made clothes, but that's pretty cool. I think it's vintage, like really vintage. But what I did was I cropped it, big surprise, <laughs> but because it was so oversized, I figured it would be really cool if I left two strings to tie it together in the front to make it more singed at the waist. So all that I did was I cut along the sides and then I just went down and then back up and met in the middle. Then I just take those two pieces and I can tie it into a bow, I can tie it into a knot, do whatever I want, and it creates this really cute cropped sweater. There was also some extra material that could work as a crop top, but this one didn't stretch. I couldn't tie it, so I'm thinking of ways to make this into a crop top without stitching or sewing because I don't know how to do that. I'm thinking about maybe putting holes into it and then like lacing string through it back and forth. I think that would be really cool. So that's my idea with this. Haven't done it yet. But it is such nice quality. Like you see this exact material at Urban Outfitters in a crop top. It has that ribbed look to it. I also got this gray sweater. I just needed a lot of basics and you can find so many basics at the thrift store. And then I just simply cropped this one just like the others and then it turned it into a really cute outfit. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay. I think they're done. But you never know with those two rats downstairs. So I'm really excited about this. My friend Lily, she also has a YouTube channel. Okay, she's like a queen thrifter and was thrifting years ago before everyone else was. But she was saying you could find really cute vintage stuff in the women's sleepwear section. So I checked it out and I found Vintage Victoria's Secret Night Set in a size small. Fits me perfect. It's so cute and I think it's really old. 100% cotton and it says Victoria's Secret Country Authentic. Alone and by itself, it's just a super cute sleep set. And I actually have like one from last year that I got. But I can also just tie it up in the front and it is a cropped set with high-waisted pants. And I'm just looks really cute like I just want to wear it around my boyfriend and snuggle by a fire it's so cute and it's in perfect condition too like amazing then I also found this Maryland UMD t-shirt that's the University of Maryland if you don't know I live in Maryland so gotta represent I didn't go there though they denied me <laughs> this shirt has a really cool gray t-shirt kind of coming up underneath of it that's stitched in and it's on the sleeves too so it looks really vintage this is embroidered it's a thick material so I just cropped it and this one also made another crop top so yeah crazy and you, you wear it like this side up and it's just really cute I just can't believe I got all this stuff for like 60 bucks are you kidding then I found this vintage looking Reebok oversized shirt you can wear it oversized or you can twist it up in the way that I showed you guys if you want a more modern look or trendy look I don't know I found another pink mock neck and I cropped it big surprise <laughs> cropped like everything this one does have a hole in it though like and I had a bunch of stains on it when I found it and I was like ew that's nasty so when I went to checkout I asked if I could have an additional oh god 
I think an eyelash just went into my eye hole. So anyway, when I went to check out, I asked if I could have an additional discount and he gave me half off again. So it was literally $1.99. So if you have something that is damaged or whatever, always point it out and then decide if you can work with it or not. And I was like, you know what, I'll try. So the stains got pretty much removed by my mom, but there is a little bit of a hole in it and it's too high up to like crop it there. Cause then I'll just be like exposing myself. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, We'll see what I do about it. I mean, if it doesn't work out, it was $1.99. I think I'll survive. My feet fell asleep. So I also found at the thrift store this oversized long open sweater that you just kind of wear and just lump off your shoulders and stuff from Express. And that's really cute. In the pajama section, I found this 100% silk red nighty and it has lace at the bottom and it was just really cute. I need to wash all these on like delicate, so. That's why they're separate. And I found a red silk robe, which is something I've always wanted. Look at how pretty it is. However, it's missing the thing that wraps around. So again, I asked for a discount and I got it. And this was only like three bucks. So I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> and there was one more sweatshirt thing that I got from the men's section, like double XL, but it literally smells so bad guys like i have a really sensitive nose and i already washed everything and it still held on to that smell and i even sprayed it with like fabric refresher and it still stinks like how is your house that stinky that it marinates in your clothes and makes them smell terrible after washing it with scent beads detergent dryer sheets and fabric spray sir I'm just honestly concerned. I don't know if I need to burn it or not, but we'll see. I'm gonna wash it again. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Do you guys want me to do more thrift flips? It was actually so much fun finding all this stuff and turning it into stuff that's way cuter. Like, I'm not even kidding. All this stuff resembles exactly what they're selling at Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, and Peck Sun and places like that. And it's better quality. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really put a lot of effort into it, so please give it a thumbs up. And if you made it this far, comment below orange, and then I'll know that you're feeling spooky because it's spooky season, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see ya. DM me your thrift flips if you were inspired by this video. Bye!